Jameson. No, no, yes, I did call. No, it's about Katie. I don't really know what to do with her. Well, you know, at the beginning when I started this company, I uh, gave her a very good offer, gave her a very good deal. And uh, one of the things I offered was to, uh, to produce or sell her script. But to be honest with you, I don't think she's talented. She's actually quite horrible. And I don't know what to do, how to get her off my back. Yeah, she sent it in. She actually took it very seriously and she wrote the whole script. No, I never meant to produce it. I just really needed somebody to work for free. What are we going to do, Jameson? I can't read it. It's not interesting to me. Hold on one second. I think it's my boyfriend on the other line. Hold on. Hi, Nuki Nook. But you can't be still upset about this morning. Well, no, I'm on the other line with Jameson. We have a problem with Katie. I'm going to have to call you back. Well, I love you very, very much. I was just trying to help. We'll talk later. Bye-bye. Hi, Jameson. No, it's Nuki Nook. He got very upset with me this morning. Well, you know, it's... Uh, he was trying to reach something in the kitchen, so I handed him a stool and he got really upset. Well, what can I do? He is 5'1". You know, there is a time in your life you have to know what you are. I don't know. No, he will get over it. We'll be fine, I hope. Well, anyways, I really need you to think of something creative and how to get Katie off my back. Maybe if we can pretend we read the script and do a meeting or something, and then we'll just, you know, push it more and more until... Yes, that's a good idea. No, I don't think it's mean at all. This is how the professional world works. Okay, great. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.